Right at the top of the guitar music theory pyramid, we find the subject of modes. There are a great many sources of information on this subject. So I decided for this little sampler lesson that I would draw your attention to one of the less common ways of looking at modes. Let's examine how the modes relate to the diatonic series of seventh chords that we looked at in the last lesson in this series. To do this, we start with an 8 by 8 grid and fill in the bottom row of the grid with the notes of the C major scale. We could use the notes of any major scale, but traditionally we stick with the key of C because having neither sharps nor flats, it helps us see the patterns emerging more clearly. Next, we fill in the second row up of the scale with the same bunch of notes in the same order, but starting from the second step of the scale, so on the note D. We continue to fill in the grid in a similar manner, each row starting on the next step of the C major scale, until the grid is complete. And you can see the C major scale appear in the top row, the same as in the bottom. Now I can modify the chart to show the diatonic series of seventh chords that we went over in the last lesson simply by blanking out the second, fourth and sixth rows of the chart like this. The constituent notes of each chord in the series can now be seen reading from bottom to top. To help I've colour coded the chords, red for the major sevenths, blue for the minor sevenths, purple for the dominant seventh and orange for the half diminished seventh or minor seven flat five chord. So that is one way of viewing the chords that make up any given key. Seeing their individual notes and appreciating how they relate to the underlying key scale. Now we simply replace the notes in the rows that we blanked out earlier, the second, fourth and sixth rows, to show the modes that derive from this key. By following the Roman numerals, you can see that the Ionian and Lydian modes are closely related to the major seventh chords built on the first and fourth steps of the scale. The three minor modes, Dorian, Phrygian and Aeolian, relate to the three minor seventh chords, built on steps two, three and six of the parent scale. The Mixolydian mode is closely related to the dominant seventh chord, built on the fifth degree of the scale. And the Locrian mode relates to the minor seven flat five, or half diminished chord, that is built on the seventh degree of the scale. Now let's hear how that works. So here's our first chord for the diatonic series of sevenths. That's our C major seventh chord. Here's its arpeggio. One, three, five, seven. the associated mode, the Ionian mode, which is the normal major scale. You should be able to hear how all these things have a similar sort of sound. shift up to the next chord in the sequence in the in the series we've got a D minor seventh chord there here's the arpeggio so from the D that's one flat three five flat seven 
And here's the associated mode, which is the Dorian mode. Oh, wrong chord. to the third chord, which is E minor 7th, and again that has the same formula, and this time we use the Phrygian mode. seventh, a major seventh arpeggio, and the Lydian mode, to sharpen the fourth there, to the G dominant 7th, uh, which we'll play like this, or we can play it like this, and here we have 1, 3, 5, flat 7 for the arpeggio, and we have the mixolydian mode. jump down here for our A minor, our sixth chord. One flat three, five flat seven. And the Aeolian mode, which is our normal natural minor scale. Minor seven flat five has the formula one uh, flat three flat five flat seven and is associated with the locria mode. to the major, um, major 7 on the C. So there you go, that's a little demo. For viewers who have already made their way step by step up the pyramid of guitar music theory, then this little lesson should act as a nice conceptual guide to fitting the modes together with the chords in any given key. And I think too, it will help you hear how the modes work a little better by being able to associate them with those chord types. But if you find yourself intrigued, but perhaps a bit confused by this lesson, or simply want to explore the subject further, then I recommend our three-part guitar music theory course, which you can take a look at by signing up to our 30-day free trial membership offer over at the Secret Guitar Teacher site. Hope to see you there, otherwise see you again soon on YouTube.